Is it possible to change where you spawn without going back to the main menu? Can you not just like, why does it not even show you the name of the town? So you have to go back to the main menu just to spawn somewhere else. And if I want to go here, without knowing the name of this station, I can't. Because there's no labels on this. Why is there no label on it? Why not just tell me what this station is? Next train is 14.48 according to the timetable. Seems a bit... They could have made that so much easier. They could have told us what the station names are. They could have allowed us to just double click and go somewhere. They could bring up the timetable here and go, I want to get this train spawn me at the platform two minutes before it's due to leave. They could have made life so much easier. Huddersfield. Let's see. Huddersfield. There's a train at 1421 out of Huddersfield. So if we if we get in there at 1420, we'll have a minute to catch it. I don't think I don't think they thought about it from like a player perspective. They've just given you some stuff, but not actually, um, oh crikey. Is that our train? Not actually kind of, um, tried to give the player the better experience. Oh my god. Can I get over there? Of course I can't climb a platform. Why would I want to be able to climb a platform? Why I saw something then. Was the E to climb? It's on 9A. This is 5. I don't think I can make it to 9A. We'll just get on this train. Hey. Anybody know where we're going? Ooh, first class. Don't mind if I do. I've paid for it! Yeah, you would take all the seats. Actually, I think they're facing backwards. I'm leaving that open. Just, just leave every door open. Wait a minute. Oh boy. Let me out. Where's nine then? Eight. There is no platform nine. How does that work? Oh no! Let me. Let me in! Can we get up this? Oh, I'll climb. Oh, there you go. As long as you get to the driver's like bit, you can get. Hey, back again. Is anybody going to drive this thing? This is so confusing. Why are they not getting on this train? What do they know about this train that I don't?
Why is it so hard to catch a train here? They should have left at 1421. According to this timetable. Stops at Huddersfield, 1421. Other end. There's no driver down there either. Look. The train's not going anywhere. See? Steal it? Okay. You will become the driver. left marker lights <laughs> scheduled service to start at 1453 we're leaving early Let me out of the train. Hang on. Locked? I just unlocked it. How does that work? Lock. Unlock right. Can we climb out through the window? Oh boy. Oh, I like it blames me for that. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so passenger is a bit meh. Right, let's do a scenario instead. Three star wanted level, that'd be fun. Journeys, right, let's go for uh, that. We'll go for Manchester, Victoria. I like how you can't unlock it. You can't get off. You can't climb through the window. You can't even climb up from the track onto the platform, but you can get into the train driver's carriage. Mr. Hancock, welcome back. Just want to make... Oh, we've got a, a bloke in here today. Make it so that we can see what we're doing here. Uh, is everything ready? Reverse us off. You can climb onto the platform, there were steps along the side. Ah, uh, so it's just every now and again you can do it. I knew that. I was just seeing if you knew that. It's 13.48. Uh-oh. We should have already left. Okay, it's a break on. Won't let me remove the reverser yet. Iowa Scotsman, thank you for 28 months, sir. 
Well, it's until 13, 49 and 30 seconds. Blimey. That is very specific. I, to be honest, Rob, I don't know where the master key switch goes on this. There it is. Master key on. Jeez, were we supposed to start this thing? Brake passenger released. Do we have to start? Like, where's the engine only? I we'll just have to hope this works. Moving. It's a good start. The actual texturing on the train is, is fantastic. I wish the lights were a bit better. I think the skyboxes are a bit pants, like the clouds are just rubbish. I'm sure they could do a lot better clouds in Unreal. Got a bit of a climb going on. Speed limit is 40. No, it's not. What makes you think that? You see this red marker here? That's the speed limit. Uh, there is a wheel slip indicator here, so if you see that light come on, that's when the wheel's slipping. No, the top, the top corner tells you what the speed limit is going to be, not what it is. So in 0.9 miles, it's going to be 20 miles per hour. I don't want to punch it too much because I'm going to have to go slow down anyway. Which Train Sim DLC would I recommend? The best thing to do when it comes to Train Sim DLC is read the Steam reviews. People are pretty vocal about, about them. I think this is a pretty decent one. BC Blackout, welcome back. What do I think about Ryzen? I've never owned one, so I can't really give you a good um, assessment, to be fair. All I know about Ryzen is what I've read. Yilis, welcome back. 
Yeah, you see, I would love it if Armstrong Powerhouse were able to make stuff for this for this sim, but they've just not opened it up yet. Yeah, I've tried the New York one, Connor. I got a video coming out tomorrow on the New York one. Aye, aye, aye. Mr. PC Tech, down in Florida for work. Got to see your first live rocket launch. Nice. Oh, you got to see it. It was cool. Yeah, I bet. I'd love to see that, man. Yeah, well, you can ignore those reviews, Squirrel. Like, anything that's... Anybody that reviews a game and they played it for, like, 0.1 hour, why would you listen to that review? People negative review for all kinds of reasons. Like, they'll play it for 30 minutes and then say, game kept crashing, rubbish, downvote. I think a game that keeps crashing is not rubbish. No, you're inferring that. I'm saying if you see a lot of reviews from people, and one of them is saying the game keeps crashing, it's crashing for him, and so he downvotes it. And refunds it. Brian Cree, thank you for 23 months. Almost a year, sir. Yeah, if everybody starts saying the game keeps crashing, then yes, obviously don't buy it. <laughs> Some really nice scenery. I wish they'd redo the, the Liverpool Street, to, the Re Liverpool Street to Norwich line in this. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see Chamford Station. What in Transient World, Rob? Yes. They've redone it in Transient World. I tried it on Train Simulator. Move when it wants to, you know. like a Reliant Robin then. <laughs> right, let's see what we're going to do here. Stop at Staley Bridge, load passengers, stop at Huddersfield, Dewsbury and Leeds. Okay. it does other routes. Mostly the routes are either North America or Europe, generally speaking. There is there's like one in Canada they did. They did a, a Chinese high speed train. This is the original train, so by the way. This is the Chinese high speed train, which I did a video on. Mostly though it's North America and Europe. Yeah, I think Germany comes into Europe, Russia. 
lot of Austrian stuff, German stuff, British stuff, um, some French stuff. Although, quite frankly, I hate driving trains in France because their signaling system is just unbelievable. I didn't try the South African one. Yeah, I think it, I, I tried the Japanese bullet train. I think there was another train that they did. Another loco they did in Japan. Like a really weird one, I remember. Yeah, three country corner route, that was a good one. Petrol trains? Paynex. Nobody makes petrol trains. You use diesel. It has way better torque. See that it's up here. This is like a constant climb. Uh, the Voyager was in Train Simulator. Because I drove it. But Train Sim World, don't know. Save it for a new PC. Twenty seventy sixteen gig, nine ninety nine hundred K, three gigahertz, two terabyte hard drive, five hundred gig SSD. Mm -hmm. Personally, I mean, you're getting a really good CPU though, and then you're gonna you're gonna cramp its style a little bit with sixteen gig of RAM, and then that SSD five hundred, that's not gonna like. You've got this stonking CPU and you're attaching it to just a 500 gig SSD. I would probably go, I would probably ditch the, the hard drive altogether and just get a, like a, a one or a two terabyte SSD. Also really, these days you should be thinking about NVMe. Because that is a fast CPU and you're gonna spoon feed it data from your hard drive, which is just crazy. Maybe drop your CPU spec a little bit and use the money to buy some better storage. Well, every build has a Every build, you've got to think about, where are my bottlenecks? The last thing you want to do is, is like, take a Ferrari engine and stick it inside of a Fiesta body, you know? It's just, there's no point. You may as well balance it. You're better off with a balance system. If you've got, like, one thing that's super fast and everything else is slow around it, what do you think is going to happen? Rip. OK, 
Okay, that was interesting. Didn't realize this thing could stop that quickly. Uh, Seminator's pretty much the best one, is the one I bought. The, Mac, the MacBook Pro was like a stupid spec on it. I didn't think I could kill speed that quickly. Oh man, I completely forgot to drink this tea. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, all the passengers in the, all the passengers have definitely spilt their coffee. They were like, <laughs> yeah, Rome has a, a Ryzen firefighter. He can give you all the specs and charts that you can possibly take, all the benchmarks that you would ever want. He's got them. Can't wait for Power Lives. Looks good, doesn't it? Mr. Lockett, thank you for almost three years. Zalara, with almost three as well. Thank you. I've no idea what that sentence says, but thank you. <laughs> you, mad South African, just let them two chat. It'll be fine. Glovage. That was definitely glove. Now then. 1429. Should have been at 1405 for a little bit late. But they're used to it here. It's all good. They don't expect us to run on time. We're not Japan. Dark holiday. Thank you for the 200 biddies. Hope things are well. Not bad, sir. Not bad. Looking forward to um, a little bit of a break at the NEC. <laughs> before full-on filming next week. Mr. Tyler, thank you very much, sir. Welcome back. You could like spit out the window and see if you can hit a car. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be sacked. You'd have jumped off a bridge. I would like to see what the driver training is like in Japan. Like, how do they produce drivers that can be incredibly punctual? I'd love to see the training they give them. Benner, no stream Friday, Saturday. Back up for Sunday night trucking. Oh my god, can we please have better lighting outside? That is abysmal. Headlight is on and I can't see a thing. That's really bad. Let's just power our way through this tunnel. Quite 
literally lights at the end of the tunnel. Answer the question from earlier, yes, it does echo. Oh, this train's lights were on. like train simulator used to have a thing at the bottom of the screen it was like a moving timeline and it would show you like stops coming up and uh, signals coming up and it would even show you like what your current ETA was at the next destination you don't get any of that with this Captain Flint I don't think there's any tunnel sections on the uh, Epingonga stretch multiplayer, there's no third party support yet that I'm aware of. This is some nice scenery though. Blimey, look at this. This is pretty authentic. That is real nice. Tyler in Vancouver, 31 months, it's my birthday today, 7am here, going down under in November for a 10 day cruise to New Zealand, 15 hour direct flight from Vancouver to Sydney on a 777. Tyler, happy birthday mate, have a very good trip, that sounds awesome. The creator editor is in beta. Who will that be used by, KT? Will that be, um, will that be something that third like commercial people will get hold of or workshop people will get hold of as in amateurs can play with or can, can professionals start making official you know uh, commercial type content Doc Holiday dropping the sub on five subs dropped thank you very very much Doc Holiday and if you just got a sub gifted please remember to give him a thank you Amateurs and everyone. Right, so what I'm trying to say is can can somebody like say just trains get hold of it and start making and selling content? That's what I'm getting around to. Or is it just like workshop stuff that's free? Development since about April, June, no news about it, then it's just in development. Use the version of the Unreal Editor. Hmm. I think it's until Dovetail come up with contracts for these commercial outfits to sell stuff. Like, I don't know, whatever, whatever cut Dovetail will want, you know? Until they do that, you won't see commercial stuff.
detail on the tracks and stuff is so nice. Yeah, Ghost Recon Breakpoint is definitely corner. I did try the closed beta, I really enjoyed it. You do indeed, Doc Holiday. <laughs> Look at the hills on the left. Imagine cutting those fields. Oh my god. Custard! 56 months. Thank you, Custard. I think the next beta of Ghost Recon is probably going to be like an open rather than a closed one that we couldn't talk about, you know. But it's got some nice concepts in the game. Not that we're allowed to talk about it, but... Schedule for my summer car. No. Uh, the TGV is only on train sim, not on train sim world. Doc Holiday, thank you for gifting us up to Johnny Ringo. Welcome back, Johnny Ringo. Oh, great. More darkness. Let me just put the lights on. Proxy, they always are, mate. The Steam reviews for, for this and Train Simulator always mixed. Try Viking 62, the DC with 20. Keep up the great work, sir. Thank you. This is a ridiculous tunnel. Steam reviews are not always the best. Some people just get annoyed and give a bad review, not always objective. For me, it's about the content you buy and you want to like. Now, the trick with Steam reviews, Rob, is to basically is to basically go through them and see, first of all, how much did they play the game? And then secondly, are they just writing a one sentence, this is trash? If so, just ignore it. If they played the game less than a couple of hours, you can pretty much ignore it. The trick is to find the ones where they give a balanced opinion. Where they say, like, pros, cons, 
or you know I've seen reviews where they'll say you know I've played these kinds of games for, for years uh, I've played this particular one for the 500 hours um, but I'm still going to give it a down vote because and then they'll go into it they're the kind of reviews that I read the one where they, they back it up with substance Like, it's all very well saying, I hate the game, but if you don't tell me why you hate it, in a reasonable way, I'm probably going to ignore it. <laughs> and besides, every game always has something that's worth mentioning as a plus point, so you're kind of looking for that as well. People who say, well, this bit's good and this bit's good, but then this, 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 and this are rubbish. This scenery is so nice. Alex, thank you for seven. What are the pros and cons of train sim world? Uh, pros are probably the best graphics in the business for any train sim. Definitely. Decent physics, like carriages and stuff, like the way they operate and connect together, is done pretty well. Um, the biggest down, the downside, I think, the thing that most people hate is, like, the whole, the way the DLC works. Like, the disconnectedness of it, like, the, you buy, you buy a scenario, you buy a route, and it's completely disconnected from any other routes that you have. So, you know, God forbid you bought a route from, say, Leeds to Manchester, and then later on you bought another route that went from Manchester to Liverpool, those two things aren't connected. You can't just drive from Leeds, go to Manchester, then swap train and drive on. You know what I mean? You're going to have to come out of one DLC and go into another. So I don't like that. I don't like the disconnected nature of the DLC. Um, the, all the DLCs are structured the same as well, so they all contain like a timetable, some scenarios, and then like chapters that you can work through, or you can be a passenger. Like, they're literally all like that, which is either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. Like, if you remember the original train simulator, um, it would come with a variable amount of scenarios, some of which were really challenging and some of which were really interesting, and others were utter pants. And that was a problem in itself, because some DLC, would, you would get really buggy and or boring scenarios, which they never fixed or made better, and other ones, you would get cracking ones, and that's why you get a lot of variation in the original reviews, because um, if you read them, one DLC, people will just absolutely pan and say, this is this is so bad, and they never come back and fix it. And another one will be like, this is amazing, this is great, I wish they'd do more of this. So, with this, with this train sim world, pretty much it's like a formulaic way of doing it. That's like SCS bringing out disconnected countries. Yeah, but when they bring you a country, exactly. When SCS gives you an extra country, it connects into the existing world, which is great. You know, if they gave you a country and then you had to drive in that country, leave the DLC to go into the next country, that's what this is like. Well, to be fair, some of the, like, if you go on the American, um, the Peninsula Pack, the, the California DLC, the trains on that, the lights are absolutely superb. It's only these British trains where the lights are really bad, but I'd say they're probably worse than they are in real life. Going downhill now.
And one of the biggest uh, annoyances that people have with Dovetail is that they'll say there's like $5,000 worth of DLC in Steam. And they're not wrong. If you bought all the DLC for Train Sim, you, you're going to be looking at $5,000, which is uh, hilarious. Dark Holiday, thank you for the bits. H for Horn, lol. <laughs> Actually, it's N for Horn. No, you don't buy it all. That's exactly right. I mean, I don't... I'm not saying I agree with their point of view. You know, personally, I would only buy it in a sale anyway. And quite often, DLC is heavily discounted. As long as it's more than a six months old, it gets heavily discounted in a sale. So you can always pick it up a lot cheaper. So you never have to spend 5000 And, as I said before, some of them just aren't even worth buying. So you've got to cherry pick the good ones. How do we know you pressed N? That's how you know I pressed N. That was my phone falling off its stand. You're welcome. No Man's Sky. It's, it's pretty fun. I've got a bit of a bass going now. Showing off my Asus keyboard. Oh, look at my lovely Asus Claymore keyboard, guys. Go and buy Asus! <laughs> Hashtag sponsored, not sponsored. <laughs> oh, this scenery, man, is so good. Gotta love me some train bridges. Hashtag sell them. How's the VR test trial going? Uh, do you mean the VR180 or do you mean VR gaming? I love this keyboard music, honestly. I, I absolutely love this keyboard. I love it because most of the time I don't need a numeric keypad, but when I do need it, I just connect it in. I, I love that. Never mind the physical aspect of it, the way the keys move, I love it. you would try VR and ETS2. You heard that wrong. Oh my god, Doc Holiday dropping another five subs. Doc, thank you very much for dropping another five on top of the five that you already dropped. What a star. And if you just got gifted a sub, please remember to give him a thank you. Thanks for supporting the stream, Doc Holiday. Let's get some break action on here. See a thing. Can't see a thing. Wobbly, thank you for gifting us up to Flamingo. Welcome back, Flamingo. Wobbly just cherry picking sub bombs. Look at this, I just can't see a thing. Half of the scenery is broken though. 
The original train simulator stopped you from doing external camera at all for that reason. Welcome to Huddersfield. Ooh, shiny. Oh, I love that noise. That's so cool. You mean Huddersfield? Isn't that what cows get milked? Uddersfield? Yeah, 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 we're late. By a minute, big deal. By, by British rail standards, I'm early. You will get out. <laughs> that was fun. That was a good route. Seventeen Fridays till Christmas. Who cares? <laughs> Late again. I better get a gold medal. Lock the doors. Where are we going? Oh, there's more. I thought that was it. Crikey, I thought that was it for some reason. Go away. Well, 17 Fridays basically like is 17 weeks, so yeah, it's it's longer than you think. Ordered the braking. back to when it was an industrial powerhouse. I do play Skylines, my gamer. Gifting leaderboards, uh, my competitiveness is unhealthy. I will never catch jewels in bits, but I can catch in sub gifting. <laughs> I don't see jewels much very more. Don't bother me. It's not hitting very much. Whatever he's got, he's probably staying there, to be honest. Gamer, if you look on Scroll Plus, there's loads of Skylands content. 
from one of Street Blue. This train is loud when you go full throttle. No plans to do farming, Archangel. Dark holiday, drop on another five subs. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dark holiday. If you just got gifted a sub, please remember to give a thank you. Picking up speed down this hill. Like the throttle's on zero and we're just accelerating. secret to tell. Well, when you tell it, it won't be a secret anymore, so bear that in mind. Oof. Sharp left turn ahead. Track limits. Mid map. 29 months, not around much, but recently, but still happy to support the stream. Well, thank you very much for, for supporting the stream, Mitman, even though you can't make it. That's rather splendid of you, sir. Have you seen the new Rebel Galaxy Outlaw? I don't know what that is. How many people spill the tea at that junction duty? Imagine where you've just been given a full cup of tea and you're like, then suddenly, the <laughs> as it takes that sharp left. You've lost more than one drink at that junction, I can believe it. seem pretty good. I mean, it's pretty buttery though. Still struggle. Well, you can dial the settings down, Flamingo. You didn't see any Skylines content on Scroll Plus. It's like a massive playlist full of them. Quite possibly Doc Holiday uh, batters.
assume it's not you that does all the score plus uploads. My editor does it, Connor. It takes a lot of time to splice those streams up and upload them with thumbnails and tags and everything. So rural. Oh my god. The mapping on this route is fantastic. Passenger view. If you get on as a passenger, you've got the passenger view, but if you're the driver, you can't just flick to a passenger view, you know. On train sim, I think you used to be able to press the 5 key and that did it, but that's not... doesn't do it on this one. Cooling tower, probably a power station. I guess. I think it came out on console, yeah. Yeah, I saw the Didcut ones get flattened. Did you see it took out a power line as well? When they collapsed the towers, one of the power lines got hit and it knocked the town out for two hours. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oh, there's a collectible over there, look. Other side of the platform. Stations are very accurate. Huddersfield Station has hardly changed since the time this was set in. I think the stations are pretty accurate. The advantage these days is that mappers can just go to Google Maps and just satellite view everything and then drop to street level quite often. Or even just get photographs on the internet. Like, the possibilities are great. Thank you for 39. Almost 40 is my age in a week time. Ooh. Happy birthday for that. Doc Holiday. Any interest in Tropic 06? No. I'll say no. Transport Fever 2, yes. Just look at this bridge. Awesome as that. Anno eighteen hundred. I'd like to play Anno again. I just don't know if I've got time to, to learn the mechanics of it, you know. When 
does Transport Fever 2 come out? Is it like October? Stormworks. I was telling somebody about Stormworks yesterday. Like how much stuff they've got in Stormworks now is absolutely crazy. Late October. I think it'd be a really good game, Transport Fever 2. They're bringing Frostpunk to console, nice. Good game, that. Cyberpunk, yeah. I think everybody's going to get Cyberpunk. <laughs> Koala Bar. Just about everybody's going to get Cyberpunk. Uh, class 45, yes. Dark Holiday with yet another five subs. Thank you very, very much, Dark Holiday. Very generous. Great support. Please remember to give him a thank you, guys, if you get a sub gifted. Yeah, when, when, uh, when Cyberpunk comes out, Twitch will just be... Every man and his dog will stream it. Put it that way. There's rumours there will be a Firewatch 2, Connor. I've not heard that. like a Firewatch 2. Firewatch 1 was, was really enjoyable to play through, you know. Still evading the sub bombardment. <laughs> it's like winning the lottery. It might happen, but probably won't. Uh, Dill plays what streamed it all last uh, Saturday, I think it was, Mice and McCarr. Or Sunday. No, Sunday afternoon it was Mice and McCarr. Week before I streamed it all Saturday. There's loads of um, loads of footage on Scroll Plus if you want to watch it at the stream. Yeah, the forty five, the forty seven, and the thirty one are pretty pretty recognisable Punko. Oh, we've gone from a steady climb to in the tunnel, we're now going downhill again, so we're picking up speed. Must admit, when you come out of a tunnel in this game, it's like, it's really nice. The way it just kind of goes, whoosh, opens up. Really cool. And then you can hear the birds chirping. No multiplayer, don't be. 
still on the list of things that we're going to deliver shortly after release. Was that two years ago? Been busy making DLC, I think. Maybe if they forgot that they said they were going to do um, third party support and uh, multiplayer. Devil Dude! Jump in on the sub bomb action, Devil Dude. Thank you so very much. Another five subs gifted. Thank you very much, Devil Dude. Please remember to give him a thank you if you just got a sub. So many sub bombs today, you guys are crazy. Exactly why, FG. There's no money to gain from that. But that's short-term thinking, isn't it? The better thinking is, hang on a minute, if we add multiplayer, then people will play with their friends, therefore we'll get more sales indirectly, because, hey, I've got this scenario, and you don't have it, but we want to play together, therefore you're going to buy it. How many mice in the car beds until I start a new game? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? It depends how long it takes to complete the story. Ooh. That's the DMU you can do. Might have to try the DMU next. Multiplayer with Messi. I don't think it would. I think you'd probably end up driving trains on the same schedule. Something like that. So were the AIs driving a train now, you would basically take over one. Or I could sit in as a passenger in your train, something like that. How are you doing? Similar to bus sim, yeah, exactly. Like like bus simulators multiplayer, a bit like that. I mean, DL, you know, Dovetail's a big company now. If that little bus sim can add it, I'm sure Dovetail could. waiting for the editor roll. Do you reckon you'll get it this year? Oh, aye, aye, aye. Doc Alright, I've got to go back to work and earn some more money to eventually spend here. <laughs> Have a good, uh, have a good day, dog holiday. Maybe we'll see you later. Thank you for all the support, all the gifting. Super kind of you. Coming up on leads. Kiltmowski, how you doing?
You don't think we'll see anything released as an open beta or release this year? It's crazy, man. And Wobbly Weasel gifted us up to Everest Pike. Right, Everett. Welcome, Everest. Hendo, thank you for 20. They planned an open beta at the end of 2018. Whish. Wow. <laughs> Something's changed. Wait, what? When did you change the speed limit to 10? That was not on the list. Ten's only there. It's boss point. I like how you go over the top of the canal as you come in. That's cool. Can you look around? Yeah, totally. Just get up, walk around, do what we like. 